Hi everyone, Holly Kerwin here. Um, didn't quite get this in early today as I was planning. Um, but anyway, it's six o'clock um, here, a little bit after in Adelaide, and I thought I'd better do it quickly now because I want to go out for a hike. And it's windy and cold out there, but um, anyway, it'll be invigorating. So I hope you all had a good day. I, um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about top-up sessions and maintenance um, and even just the model that, that um, so many clinicians use in Australia, which is purely based on, on Medicare, on Medicare rebates. Um, I think the most critical thing in the work that we do is ensuring that, that we don't just reduce symptoms so that um, people you know, maybe have come in with panic disorder and we've gotten on top of the panic attacks, they understand what's happening, they're not experiencing that level of anxiety anymore and certainly they're managing panic symptoms, uh, which is fabulous. But is that all we want to do? You know, or do we want to take them to the next level and ensure that, um, that other issues that are underlying that are addressed, you know, that, um, that actually their quality of life in, in multiple ways is improved? And it's a funny thing because I, I think with um, with the Medicare rebates when they've come in, oh, I think it was 2007, a lot of therapists started to feel as though they needed to restrict their therapy to fit in with the number of rebates that clients received. And I think that that's faulty. You know, I think that it's actually really important for us to get a good assessment, case conceptualisation, treatment plan and to treat so that we do ourselves out of sessions, you know, so that our clients don't need to come anymore because they are, you know, they've experienced a, a symptom reduction. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I'm getting all these lovely little pings coming up on my screen, which is really nice. I'm still not used to live streaming. But yeah, thank you people for, for sending those through. That's lovely. Um, anyway, jumping back. So, I, you know, essentially we just need to make sure that not only have we got on top of symptom reduction, but we've improved things and we, uh, for, for people's lives and that I think people have a certain maintenance phase and it's okay to come back in for top-up sessions. So rather than trying to fit treatment into a particular mould of the number of Medicare rebates that somebody gets, it's much more important for us to fit treatment into what that person needs for, uh, for, for longevity, for a quality of life, for improving symptoms and, you know, branching out in, in whatever it is, you know, whatever ways they were feeling restricted before or squished before so that they actually really don't need to come back anymore because they're so much better. But then, of course, having a period of maintenance, ensuring that things are okay and feeling okay about coming back in for top-up sessions, even if it's the 11th session in the year and, and in that particular year, you know, pre-COVID, um, there, there's only 10 rebates. So I... Yeah, I'm just wanting to put that out there because I see it a lot um, with clinicians and um, and it's I just don't think it's such a helpful way of us being able to think and treat people. Um, anyway, the, the reason that I, I thought about this and brought it up today is that I've been seeing a nu nutritionist in Adelaide and she's been amazing. I've um, managed to get rid of my COVID kilos without too much um, tragedy you know or don't feel like I'm missing out on too much I'm not starving um, but she's really got my body fueling its itself um, and and the excess that was there much more efficiently and so we should be done in a month or so I'll go back for another checkup you know or, or another session with her in a month and then we're going on to maintenance and and it might even be that once a year I pop in and see her and just ensure that I'm still on track uh, and for me, that's worth its weight in gold, actually, because it, it means that I'm, I'm accountable, um, that I still have that connection and, um, and have that ongoing support, even if it's that irregular. So something to think about. Anyway, have a good evening or day, wherever you are, and I will be back for another live stream tomorrow. See you. Bye.